The first meet between U.S. President Barack Obama and Brazilian counterpart Lula da Silva left many journalists surprised, not only by its unusually long duration, but also for the political gap spilled during its course. The Giselle from Brazil appreciates the rapprochement between Brazil and the United States, which he thinks is something natural and necessary for the two countries. I'm Celso, reporting from Brazil for Instablogs. At the G20 summit, BBC's cameras capture images on which Barack Obama went to Lula and said, I love this guy. Obviously, that was a joke, but the fact is that Lula and Barack Obama have many things in common. Both represent minorities and they are symbols of a historic change in their countries, because they did not originate in higher class. Besides, Lula and Obama are very popular in their own countries because they are seen as a kind of personification of hope. Although the two countries disagree on many issues, such as Ethan or Cuba, the two presidents know very well that the peace and integration of countries in the Americas depends on charismatic leaders who are able to diminish difference and seek solutions through diplomatic means. Accordingly, both Lula as Obama represent democratic values aiming at integration of Americas without a dialogue between Brazil and United States, meaning without a dialogue between Lula and Obama, the future most certainly would reserve space for radical leaders in Latin America, and that is not interesting for any of these two countries. If you want your voice to be heard by millions, let InstaBlogs be your choice. You can contact us at cj at instablogs.com.